welcome back. In this video, we are continuing along with the Christmas or holiday theme, and we're going to make gift tags. So you can print these at home, or you can send them to a printer, cut them out, and have your own design on any present that you are giving out. This also works really well for birthdays or anytime you're giving a present to somebody, you can give it that extra little detail by having your design on it. So to get started, I have already created a document that is letter size, just because that is what most printers at home will print. And I have also opened up the design from last week. So the very first thing that I want to do is to create a few shapes. So you can do square, circle, and then I'm going to do a rectangle. Select your rectangle and then copy and paste it. So Command C, Command V, or you could go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste. And I'm just going to bring this down halfway, then click the back one, which is the full size. And you will see at the top toolbar, the section with corner, click that drop down and select straight. And now you have the shape of a gift tag. So select both of those and then you're going to combine them by hitting the add button. And you have the basic shapes of your gift cards. And the square one, I'm actually going to turn on to the side and make it more of a diamond shape. Select a small circle. And I'm going to move this towards the top of that diamond and then select your subtract. And now you have your place for where you can tie in your ribbon. So go ahead and add those to each one. And since I am Continuing along with the holiday theme, I'm going to go in and select some of the ornaments that we used last week. And I'm also going to use the snowflake. Command C to copy. Head back over to your gift tags. Okay, so I have brought in some ornaments and I have also brought in the background color from the pattern from last week. So the first thing I'm going to do, I wanna select the round gift tag and I'm going to change this color to the same exact background color from last week. It currently has a stroke on it, so I wanna turn that off. And then move the snowflake so that it is partially on and partially off from the gift tag and then bring it to your gift tag and drop it below so that it creates a clipping mask. And you can choose to leave it either where the snowflake shows up really well because it is white on a dark background or you can change the opacity to something lower so it kind of just blends into it. And I actually think that looks really nice. So I'm going to leave that one. This one ornament, I'm just going to move to the bottom of the diamond shaped one. And then I want to, I think I'm going to do a lighter color to match. Go to fill, go to tint, and I'm just going to lighten this one. So I think that one looks really nice. This very last one, I haven't decided on the color yet. I want this ornament to be in the middle. 
going to make these the exact same size and then rotate one so it's pointing to the left and then point one so it is pointing to the right. Select all three of these and then I want to decrease the size slightly. Center it in there. And I'm going to change this background. I want more of a cream color. So once again, put in the color from the ornament. Go to fill color, drop down to tint, and then change that to a lighter color. So now you have very basic gift tag. So it's very easy to create your own. If you get your shape in, put in the hole for the ribbon and then put in clip art. And then the next thing you need to do, which is totally up to you, is to put the to and from lines on there. And to make more, you just copy and paste. And there you have very, very easy to make gift tags where you add a little bit of your own design and style to the presents that you're giving to the people that you love. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.